Yes, check this out, everybody. This is the Bollinger B2. This is a pre-production EV truck, and it does so many weird things I've never seen before on a production model. First off, the bed, right? Decent length bed, so it comes down, slatting here, kind of old style. Those look, yeah, they're like wood slats. But the bizarre thing is, look how it goes through. That panel right there is like a fold-down door. And then of course, the back window is like a hatch. It looks kind of Ikea on the inside with these like end tables. But the weird thing is, look, it goes all the way through. We're looking outside the front of this truck. So, right here in the corner, we have 110, is that what that's on? Yeah. Lot of power output here. You can make smoothies back here if you wanted to. Wheels. These are 18s. Nice and aggressive. So this has like an air suspension, right? You can raise or lower this truck by 10 inches. It's crazy. The girl said something like 10 to 20 inches. So I don't know if she meant from 10 to 20 or if it's 10 inches to 20 inches. We'll find that out in time. So, this is uh, like aircraft grade aluminum. It's really light. Look at the doors, they don't even wind down. This is very like militaristic. It's kind of an old school vehicle, so you know, like look how, like that is simple tech right there. Again, the slats, the windows, these <laughs> sort of like end table nightstand things. I mean, they look great. I'm not gonna deny that. So, uh, this panoramic, roof is really fun too so these panels come out so it could be you know kind of like a jeep because you can take the doors off boop you can pull that off and this thing becomes a totally open air vehicle except you still have that sort of like a crossbar inside there so this is a dual motor setup producing 400 horsepower and if you look underneath here you're gonna see a couple of things what really caught my eye is that right there portal hubs power comes down here steps down giving you so much more ground clearance a lot of room underneath here actually take a look i don't know what any of this stuff is but if i get back up on my feet here there you go all electric bollinger b2 this is the charging port of course let's take a look at the cockpit. Driver's seat actually looks pretty well bolstered. There's some billet aluminum pedals here. I don't know why that is sitting at 4500 RPM because we're not going anywhere. Jail audio. Oh yeah, so there's like a pretty cool looking some smudge there. Uh, there's like a, a subwoofer up front here that's pretty cool. This is very basic. And again, very Ikea, <laughs> but I don't hate it. It's, uh, you know, simplicity is elegance. Give that a shut. Now here's where it gets really interesting in my opinion. Boom, it has a tailgate on the front. So this is kind of like the ultimate tailgating rig. You can pull up, you can open your hood if you want to your frunk. Look at that. See what I was saying? There's a JBL subwoofer right there. And there's a tunnel all the way back. That's where we started. I wonder if, I mean, like a child could sleep here. Um, take a look here. It's just, that's what it looks like. Shut. I'm not going to actually shut the hood, just the tailgate. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Series 1 Land Rover in style. Again, very basic, very primitive, very angular but also very macho and aggressive. And eight lug wheels. And, oh yeah, by the way, take a look at the brake setup. It's sort of like a day-to-day own hub setup. So instead of the brake rotor being in the wheel, it's brought inward, reducing the mass in your wheel. And it's like that on the back as well. See, there it is, way back there. It's kind of like a, an Alfa Romeo Milan or something like that. Very interesting. So this again is a pre-production model. 
and it's so interesting to see. Pardon me, sir. Take a look. Uh, by the way, here's how you, you open the, the tailgate. Beep. So you just go ahead and sit down and have a rest or, you know, tailgate with your friends. What an interesting vehicle. So I expect to see these on the road, I guess around 2024, 2025. It is the end of 2023, so what do you expect? Such a cool car, such a cool truck. Uh, so again, uh, by the way, this is the B2. The B1, there is a B1, and that's the SUV version. Think of like the R1S to the R1T in Rivian talk. So this should be a good Rivian competitor. I don't know if it'll be a Tesla competitor. I'd like to see this go up against the Cybertruck. I know they're out there, my buddy Ed just sent me a picture of one, so. All right, everybody, thank you for watching, and if you like this Bollinger, hit the like button, subscribe. I drove out here to Sonoma to show you guys this stuff, so make sure to stay tuned for more, because I love seeing these fun cars, and I love sharing them with people, so have a great day, and I'll see you next time.